Hey everyone, in this video we're going to compute the value of i to the i. This problem is actually really simple if you know um, the definitions. So solution. So what is the definition of a complex number raised to a complex number? So if you have z, which is a complex number, and you raise it to another complex number, this is actually defined to be e to the c times the log of z. So this is the actual definition of what it means to raise a complex number to a complex number. Once you fully understand this definition, you can do any problem. You can do i to the 2i, i to the 3i, etc. Okay, so what is log z? That's key. So log z may not be what you think of it is. Log z is called a multi-value function. It could be equal to infinitely many numbers. So it's equal to the natural log of the modulus of z, you might say, what's that? No worries, I'll explain it when we do the problem, plus i times something called the argument of z. So what is the argument? Again, no worries. Uh, when we do this problem, I will totally explain what it is. And again, once you understand this, this problem is a piece of cake. All right, so let's go ahead and start the problem. And then as we go through it, I will explain what this stuff is. It's totally worth knowing. So we have i to the i. That's equal to e to the i, right? Our c is i, log i. Good stuff. This is equal to. Okay, so now we can use uh, the definition of the complex logarithm. This is e to the i, parentheses, natural log of the modulus of i plus i times the argument of i. All right, so I promised I would explain what this stuff means, so now I'm going to do that. And again, once you understand what all this stuff means, we're done. So modulus, what is modulus? So the modulus of a complex number is the following. So if you have a complex number, you can always write it in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. That's the definition of a complex number. You can associate this with an ordered pair. And you can also think about it as a vector. Let me draw the picture here. So if I put the point here in the first quadrant, and I draw a vector starting at the origin with endpoint AB, you can think of it as a vector. And then the modulus of Z is the length of that vector. You can call it the length, the norm, or the magnitude. So what is the definition? Well, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to come up with the following formula. It's the square root of A squared plus b squared. So in this particular problem, okay, we have the modulus of i. Okay, so we have the modulus of i. And so we can think of i as 0 plus 1 times i, right? Same thing, right? You can think of i as uh, 1 times i. So this is equal to the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared. So you just get the square root of 1, so you get 1. So the modulus of i is 1. Okay, let's go back to our problem. So i to the i is equal to e to the i natural log, let me put a parenthesis here, of 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0, so this piece here is going to be 0, plus i arg i. So we just have to figure out uh, what arg i is, okay? Let's keep going before we do. Okay, so this is zero, so it's going to be e to the i. I'll show an extra step. Zero plus i arg i, whatever arg i is. i times i is i squared, so we just get e to the negative one, because i squared is negative one, times arg i. Once we find arg i, whatever that is, we got this. Okay, all right, so what is arg i? So arg i, arg i is called the argument. So arg i is equal to, let me use, um, I'll use theta plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. So I'm going to use some, some higher level math notation here. k belongs to, so it's a number in the set of integers. This, this is the set of integers. And this means belongs to or is in. 
So arg i is theta plus 2k pi. So what is theta? Theta is an angle between pi and negative pi. It's called, it's called the principal argument. Okay, and I'll show you what it means graphically. Principal argument. Okay. It's the positive angle you get. So if I draw a little picture here, let me draw it over here, and I plot i. So here's i on the complex plane, right? Um, it's this it's this angle you get here. Okay, it's this angle you get here from the from the real axis to the complex number. Okay, so that's your theta, and theta is between negative pi and pi. So in this case, theta is equal to pi over two. Okay, so um, it's called the principal argument. Also, theta can be written as a capital arg like this. So capital arg i is theta. That's the notation people use for the principal argument. So why the two k pi? Well, you see, once you're here. You can add 2k pi, 4k pi, or subtract 2k pi, and you get back to the same thing, right? You can go around infinitely many times, and you get back um, to the same complex number. So that's why there's infinitely many solutions, because you can just keep adding multiples of, of 2 pi, okay? So in this case, it's easy. It's i, so it's pi over 2. So this is equal to e to the negative 1 times. And so arg i, in this case, is pi over 2 plus 2k pi. So it's pi over 2 plus 2k pi. So this is equal to e to the negative pi over 2 minus 2k pi. So there are infinitely many values of i to the i, right? This is equal to i to the i. Infinitely many values, and they are all <laughs> uh, purely uh, real numbers, right? There's no, there's no, uh, the imaginary part is 0 in all of these. So I hope this video made sense. Um, that's it.